Hi there. I'm just going to do a video on some quick chrome applications. So what I've done here is I have freshly painted three nail sticks. The colors I've used is Witchcraft, Ballerina, and Meet Me at the Chapel. So I have, they've just come out of the cure, curing lamp. I have not touched them. Um, you want to make sure that before you apply chromes that you don't have any oils or anything on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, ballerina color and I'm going to use my southern lights. This is like a rose gold um, chrome. So you don't really, you know, a little bit goes a long way. So I take a little bit of that and I'm going to burnish that into the freshly cured polish. Okay. Rub that in. Okay, it looks really pretty. And so you can see right away, it creates a really pretty mirrored finish on there. So that's the Southern Lights. Okay. So I'm gonna put that one away and I don't wanna spill, I don't wanna spill this. So now it can be a little bit clumsy. Okay, so we'll finish that off in a second. So that's our Southern Lights Chrome. Now I'll try a regular, this is a Starlight Chrome. I'll do this on top of my Meet Me at the Chapel. So this one is a bit of a finer texture. So I'm actually just gonna use what's in the lid here. Again, I've just freshly cured this under the lamp. And now I'm just going to burnish this right into, so this could go over any color. I just happen to use, use white or um, meet me at the chapel. So you just really rub it in. And if you find you can't get a spot where say a little bit of oil, you've accidentally touched it. You could just use a cleansing wipe, one of your nail cleansers and wipe that area and then um, reapply that area before you actually cure it. And that creates a chrome chrome finish. That's the starlight. And then the last one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, um, this is my witchcraft. And the color is this one, The this chrome is wavelength. Okay, so this one's a really fine powder. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a little bit in the top and the top and this almost creates like an iridescent look. It's really pretty over top of any color. And so they all, again, they'll look, it'll look slightly different on every color you, you use. So this makes your polish have an iridescent, an iridescent look, so really pretty. And they all look different. So this one created um, a really cool iridescent, okay? So with the chrome powders, you do have to use a top coat, um, which is clearly frisky, is sort of uh, the go-to top coat. Uh, that's under the regular polishes uh, when you order. So what I'm gonna do actually, because I don't wanna stick my applicator right onto my chromes because I want to use this for other things. I'm actually just going to put a little bit of Clearly Frisky down on my mat and I'm going to use a brush and I'm actually waiting for my creativity set. So in order to seal off your chromes, you, you need to use Clearly Frisky as a top coat. So I'm just applying the top coat over the chrome and then I will pop that underneath the light, but it's really pretty. So I'll just do all these at the same time. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my Stardust Chrome. A little bit goes a long way. Seal that one up. I'll just kind of cap the tips off. That's a really nice mirrored finish. And then I will do the same thing with my Wavelength. Okay. A little bit goes a long way. And then I would be curing. 
Okay, so what's what's really nice about these mats and using something that's silicone is I can just sort of clean up anything and, and because the polishes that you put on your mat are not cured from the light, um, you just wipe it up. So you can mix colors, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, and I do recommend the um, Creativity Set. Mine's en route, um, but I, so I'm just using a little brush that I had. But the Creativity Set comes with a whole dotting tools, all kinds of stuff that are really handy for using to make some designs and, and just to play around with. So um, once these are out of the lamp, these should just be almost cured. So you've got some really pretty, um, yeah, this is how chromes work and I hope you enjoy.